With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, welcome to doubtnet. In this question, we have to make a diagram to show hypermetropia is how corrected. Okay, the near point of a hypermetropic eye is given here as one meter and we have to find the power of lens required to correct this defect. Okay, and we have to assume that the near point of the normal eye is 25 centimeter. Okay, so in hypermetropia, okay, in hypermetropia, the image is formed behind the retina. That is image formed behind the retina, behind retina. Okay behind retina let me show you with the help of a diagram okay let's say this is a hypermetropic eye and you can see the uh, the image of object o is focused at point p which is behind the retina okay so we have to increase the converging power of the eye lens okay and to do so we introduce a convex lens in front of the uh, eye lens okay let's say that we introduce the convex lens like this okay in front of the eye lens as you can see for this configuration the image of, a, of an object placed at O you can see the image of an object placed at O that is the normal near point of the eye is formed on the retina and for the man it uh, it appears to be uh, here that is at the O dash at the far point of the man uh, sorry at the near point of the man okay so in this case you can see that the you in object distance here is at the near point of normal eye that is 25 centimeter okay then the image formed is at o dash okay that is the near point of the uh, uh man and here the near point is one meter as you can see okay so you will be actually minus 25 centimeter v will be minus 100 centimeter okay and focal length we need to find okay so by lens formula we know that 1 upon v minus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f from here we can say 1 upon v is this we can say that let's say this as the v so v is 100 centimeter okay so 1 upon minus 100 minus 1 upon u is minus 25 centimeter and this will be equal to 1 upon focal length f of the convex lens used here okay thus we can say this minus and minus will get plus and will get 1 upon 25 minus 1 upon 100 equal to 1 upon focal length f okay so the power will be what power will be 1 upon f and 1 upon f is lcm here 100 okay and thus that this will get 4 minus 1 okay thus we get 1 upon f as 3 upon 100 centimeter inverse okay to con to convert it into meter inverse we'll get we'll do what we'll multiply it with with 100 and that is we'll get 3 meter inverse we'll multiply it with 100 okay and thus we'll get power as 1 upon f and power will be equal to 3 diopter okay so we can see that the uh, convex lens will be used here with a power of 3 diopter okay that's all for this question guys thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today